Welcome back. I'm glad you're here. I'm about to blow your mind by showing you how your DNA gives us clues about who your ancestors were and where they lived. But first, I have to drop a very important bomb on you. You might want to sit down. Ready? Here it is. No one is or ever was 100% anything. You might have a grandfather who lived in Ireland, but he was not 100% Irish. He had ancestors before him, and they weren't all from Ireland. Humans have moved around a lot throughout the course of history. You could be Jewish as far back as your family knows, but you're still bound to have some non-Jewish DNA from some ancestors. You could have a French last name, and only be 15% French. Because here's the thing most people who take a DNA test don't understand. Genetics is not the same as genealogy. Your DNA doesn't care about modern country borders or last names. Remember these little guys? Let's pretend for a second that your dad is half Nigerian, half Italian. And let's pretend your mother is half Russian, half Vietnamese. If you assume that means your ancestry breakdown would look like this, I understand where you're coming from, but it's very unlikely. Here's what actually happens. Remember when I showed you how you get 23 chromosomes from each of your parents? When this happens, you need to remember that you only get half of your dad's DNA and half of your mum's DNA. Which half you get is totally random. If we go back to the example of your pretend Nigerian, Italian, Russian, Vietnamese parents, even if your dad is 50-50, you could still get this much Nigerian DNA and this much Italian DNA. Same thing with your mum's Russian-Vietnamese side. So your ancestry breakdown actually ends up looking like this. This is also why siblings almost always have slightly different ancestry results because they inherit different segments of DNA and possibly different percentage of ancestries. Just imagine this happening generation after generation random percentages of ancestries being passed down from parents to children throughout all the histories of human migration. Just based on the random recombination of DNA and how the cookies crumbled. Today I explained how these reports work in general. Next time you'll find out how it works at CRI Genetics specifically. I think that's enough for today. See you next time, where we'll dip even more into where your ancestry results come from. See you soon.